KX News, putting North Dakota first. Welcome back. We continue our KX conversation tonight with one of three North Dakota electors to the Electoral College. We are pleased to have with us in the studio Bob Weefold. Bob, thanks for being here. Thank you, Nick. Appreciate that. Now, you had a very important job to do today. Tell us about it. It is a very important job, and I'm very honored to be part of this historic occasion where our Constitution works today. All the electors all across America showed up today in their respective places and cast their electoral votes. This is a representative democracy. It's a republic. And I'm so very pleased and honored to be one of the three electors in North Dakota to be able to cast a vote for President Donald Trump. And how did you become one of our state's electors? I was chosen by the uh, uh, North Dakota Republican Party as a result of its convention. Of course, you know this year the convention was reduced to a mail-in ballots. But I was, uh, suggest I was nominated by the committee that uh, put these together and people, by sending the votes in, elected me as one of the three electors. Very, very grateful for that. And everything went smoothly today? It did. It was very, just great. Uh, the governor did a great job, Secretary of State. As usual, Secretary Al Jagger was completely organized on top of everything. Uh, and my fellow uh, electors, Sandy Beeler from Fargo and John Tant Trandum, both uh, great people. We, we had to, uh, Sandy and I had to elect John to join us because Ray Holmberg, who was the elected, uh, third elected elector, uh, was down with COVID and could not make it. Now, do you think North Dakotans watching this should feel confident that the electoral process is working the way it should be? Oh, absolutely. This is the way it was designed the Electoral College, all the votes, all the voting all across the country goes down to electing the electors from each of the uh, areas. And this is the way it's supposed to be. This is a republic. It's not a wide open democracy. It's a democratic republic. And this is a, what was provided for in the Constitution. I'm proud that it works and it does work. And it worked despite all of the discord we've seen throughout the past, uh, past year or, or longer. Sure. People have been complaining about things. and. All I know is in North Dakota, we did our job perfectly. It worked great in North Dakota. I can't, ex I can't speak for the rest of the country, but I can speak for the notion that this is the day that decides the issue. Uh, I don't think there's much chance for litigation or whatever's going on. This is it. The votes today are going to be counted. They're going to be sent to the, Secretary, uh, the United States Senate. And I believe on January 6th, they're going to be counted, and we'll know who the president is. Bob Weefold, one of North Dakota's three presidential electors. Thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you very much. Really my pleasure.